Delhi has been a delight for us to discover. The rich history and culture is deeply embedded in the city, and we were expecting that. But there are a few things that we discovered that completely surprised us. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let the fun begin. With history dating back since at least the 6th century BC and a current population of around 20 million. And just to put that into perspective, New York City is around 8 million. What surprised us the most was the interesting harmony of the two worlds of the modern day today living alongside these rich historical sites. A gross domestic product of 110 billion and a thriving tourism industry that largely contributes to that has carved an interesting landscape for this bustling metropolis. One moment you feel as though you've been transported back in time or you're walking through a movie set and the next moment you're thrust forward into this bustling rush of people and along with it, the modern comforts and conveniences. The transportation system in New Delhi rivals that of any modern city that we have traveled to before. It's well connected, efficient, and it's so inexpensive. We're pretty good at taking metros, being uh, New Yorkers. Yeah. We know the subway system pretty well. Yeah. Uh, we've taken metros in many other countries. Uh, this is a relatively new train system here train. in New Delhi. Yeah. The traffic is terrible here. So it makes you really appreciate a good um, train transit yeah. system. Yeah, I mean, look at this. I'm gonna like this around so you can see. It's so new. And what I really like is, if you look behind us, see that these gates here. Mm -hmm. They stop anyone from Jumping accidentally in falling into the tracks. Or pushing someone on the tracks. Yeah, we're from New York. Uber was also incredibly cheap. And if you don't mind sitting in traffic, it is probably the most convenient way to get around. So the Uber turned out to be about $3. If we took the Metro and took the, um, the bus, it would be about a dollar each. So we figured, hey, might as well do this. Hi, namaste. Hello. Which all brings us to the next thing that surprised us, the prices. Now, we like to budget travel, and we do it, so sometimes we can splurge a little. But we're in New Delhi, so why not do both? It's worth taking a look at some of the more high-end restaurants and hotels, as you might just find the prices be a little bit more palatable. And perhaps your budget can manage a night, or two, or heck, even maybe five. And it's a fabulous opportunity to stay at a five-star luxury hotel for maybe a fraction of what you would pay at another big city. So go on, splurge a little, you deserve it. Another thing that really surprised us was the ban on plastic and the strong movement towards a better and healthier planet. We see uh, here in India many efforts to minimize plastic waste. There is an initiative to ban plastic bags and uh, single-use plastics. We see people using wooden straws, uh, wooden utensils, all being good stewards of the environment here in India. Something that we could learn more of in the States and practice more of. Uh, nice to see them uh, taking care of their land and their environment. There are a lot of people here, especially in New Delhi, so waste management is a huge issue and uh, they're dealing it with it with aplomb. Thanks so much for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, hit that bell for notifications and drop us a comment. We'd love to hear what you think. So until next time, bye! Welcome home. Nice and clean. Oh, nice to have a fish bed. Oh, that's nice.